Welcome back to another one, guys. It's time. It is time. It is summertime, which time? We gotta get the boat ready for the water. First, I had to make a stop at there we get there. Canadian Tire to pick up a set of these. Why? Because I don't feel like blowing the motor up before I put it in the water. Let's get home. We're gonna get the boat ready for the summer. I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing we want to do is put some fresh gas in it. It has been sitting for quite a few months. Last year's gas. There's a stabilizer. We still want fresh fuel. That's it for the fuel. Now we're going to move the inside and hook up the battery. Now we're inside. We're going to get to the battery. You want to make sure that your terminal is good and rusty. Just like that. That'll improve the connection. Not really. Yes, we're going to clean that up right now. bad on the other side so guys before I put this away last year I kept all the wires separate taped them up so that I knew which was going where in my memory well it ain't that good that. see I got these tie wrapped together that's how I know. Alright. Let's get it put in. Either these batteries are getting heavier or I'm getting older. Probably should have had Jen come out and lift that in the boat for me. Obviously, red's going to positive. Got the negatives. The negatives still look pretty good. We're gonna give them a little shine too. It only takes a second, guys. Alright, take the half inch wrench, tighten these up, make sure they're good and snug. Alright, I'm sure a socket would have been a lot easier, but I like to work harder, not smarter. Okay guys, yeah, we've got the battery in, everything's all hooked up. The other thing we want to do is make sure that all our drain plugs are in and in tight. Then we're going to check the oil. We check the drain plugs, they're all in nice and tight. Battery's hooked up. Now we're going to check the oil. The dips, if you're looking at the engine, the dipstick will be on the left side. Oil looks clean. No sign of water. And it's still full.
one thing I know I'm gonna have to do is put some power steering fluid in this because it was getting a little stiff last year we're gonna turn the water on in a minute everything else appears to be hooked up I'm gonna grab the key turn the key on to make sure we got power to everything and then we're gonna fire this thing up all right we got the power on our volts are up gas gauge is just about full it says my trims down I think we got power. We're gonna add some water. I think we got power. Well, it is vitally important that you put the motor muffs on, motor muffs, ear muffs, whatever you wanna call them. Those are on and you run water to it. You will blow that motor quicker than you can shake a stick if you do not get the water to it. So we're gonna turn the water on Let's see if we make her run. All right guys, here's why it's always important to check things over before you get on the water and have a problem. So, my alternator belt, a little loose. I also noticed the alternator itself was a little loose. Now there's a pivoting bolt on the bottom down here, but it's got a nut on the back, it's a 9 16 This one here is a half inch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten up the bottom in a minute here, but we're gonna adjust this so that it's just a little bit tighter. This bolt right here is a half inch. We're gonna loosen that off. Just a little bit. It's a little bit better. Tighten that up. That's better than it was. Now we're gonna go near the night sixteenth. We're gonna tighten up the bottom bolt. Now the other thing on the list of things to check, I'm not sure if you can see that, my uh, pump's down the bottom here. This little pedal here, lift this up. And you can see it's taking water. So the pump works. Now we're gonna put it all back together. Actually, I need to check the power steering fluid. Stand by. Okay, so right here's the power steering fluid. I noticed the steering was getting a little stiff last year, so we're going to check this here. And we are a little bit low, so we're going to have to put some power steering fluid in it before we go out in the water. Other than that, guys, that's about it. We've got everything checked over. The battery's good. The belts are good, the hoses are good. Started right up, no leaks anywhere. We've got the belts tight. 
We know we got to fill the power steering fluid. Oil's good. We're ready to go on the water. Not today. It's really not hard to get your boat ready for the summer. It's not hard, hard to put away for the winter. I did a video on that a while back. But to get it ready for the summer, get the old fluid out. The new fluid comes in because these run off of the lake water. So it's not like there's internal, it's not like there's a radiator to keep everything cool. And this runs off the of lake water. So just make sure you hook the earmuffs up. That way you don't mess up your motor. Can't wait to get on the water because it is getting, you see me sweating? You see the sweat? I better go show Jen that I'm sweating. Then she'll think that I'm doing something. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button while you're here, the like button, the share button. And uh, we're always happy to have you. See you on the next one. Later. If you're like me, I take the drain out of my boat and I stuff it with steel wool. That allows it to drain. It doesn't allow any critters to get in there. Do not forget to put the drain back in because it'll be a bad day on the water. I need to go swimming. I can't believe I'm sweating this much. Jesus Murphy. Whew. I'm going to save that sweat. Show it to her.